Nashville, and welcome to the Nashville Daily Podcast. I am your co-host, Stuart Deming, and today's episode is brought to you by Explore Tours. Come take a tour with Explore Tours. You can learn about the history of Nashville. We also have a few other options uh, that we're going to be opening bookings for for the month of July and August. You can see those over at ExploreTours.com. You can use the code ND10 to take 10% off the Nashville History Walking Tour. Uh, come explore Nashville with us. Also, if you need some caffeine, today's episode is also brought to you by Bless a day coffee use the code xplr20 to take 20 percent off at blessedaycoffee.com we have the tennessee sun sunrise roast which is a, an amazing blonde roast uh, that caffeinates me every single morning this is the continuation of our day tripping series and we're heading out to centerville tennessee which is All about right. an hour away from nashville and i have none of the links open so aaron you're gonna have to take <laughs> all right take this send over. it over to me so centerville tennessee even though Stuart, it's funny because you've spent more time over in centerville tennessee um but this is a place that is on our list and this is a little bit opposite of where we uh normally recommend because normally where we are recommending is going to be more south and east of nashville and this is a little bit of the exact opposite uh it's it's still pretty close we recommended mcminnville uh, on on our last day trip episode this is uh, essentially almost the opposite of where McMenville is. It's going to be south and west of Nashville. If you know where Bonacqua is in Fairview uh, and, and those areas, you just continue to go down Highway 100 and you will find yourself smack dab in the middle. Won't take you long to pass through Centerville, Tennessee, but you will find yourself in Centerville, Tennessee. You may have heard us talking about a few of the things there that we're going to recommend. Um, one thing that happens only once per year there and that is the national banana pudding festival um and so they are probably most known for that plus a few of the other activities we're going to recommend well they're also known as the home of cousin Minnie pearl so that's what they're primarily known for so if you look at where greg is this is the red highlighted area on google maps that is centerville tennessee it's about an hour, 60 minutes or so away from the city of Nashville. <laughs> Maybe able to barely see that highlighted area. Yeah, let me zoom in. <laughs> All right. Compared to compared to uh, McMinnville, this is a small area. It's an interesting shape, but that's because of the geography of the area. Yes. Uh, you have a lot of the Duck River, which we're going to be talking about even more extensively on tomorrow's episode when we get into columbia tennessee we're going all over the place yeah as i said this is a multi-week series uh so centerville tennessee let's just zoom in and see their town square real quick it is it is a small quaint town guys it really is <laughs> um so greg let's see the last time you're out there greg. all right greg let's do it all right greg was out there in 2013 Oh, Greg, you need to get out more. Uh, Greg, yeah, you need to get out more. Um, <laughs> this pretty much looks the exact same as 2013. Uh, there's a lot more happening in the storefront realm. Uh, here, over here, is a statue of Cousin Minnie Pearl. And oh, very cool. It's, it, it's a small town square. Uh, the, the, there's a lot of updated things there now compared to when Greg was back there in 2013. Okay. All right. Well, that's See good. more dates. All right. So Stuart, all right, 2003, I can't believe Greg was in this. <laughs> 2013. Come on, Greg. Uh, all right. So, so Stuart, every trip so far, yep. we've started with coffee. Yep. So obviously blessed day coffee. You've already gotten that cause you got to drive mm -hmm. to these places. So you, you got to be caffeinated when you wake up. Uh, Stuart, where's the coffee shop that we're exploring here in Centerville? Yeah. So there, there's a place called the local place original name uh <laughs> so they have just they have your typical uh, coffee shop experience you have your latte your mocha your americana your white mocha uh, but the thing that is interesting with them is they also do like an italian soda which is super unique oh, and cool. they have a caramel apple cider which sounds delicious and they also have like some different um they ha they have coffees they have so they have waffles there yeah they have uh, some gourmet cookies, and then they have a uh, lunch. I've never eaten there for lunch, uh, but you have, like, a chicken Caesar salad. Uh, you have a buffalo chi uh, chicken sandwich. Uh, so you have a few different options there. And, and I, I'm also seeing energy mixers, which, is which, which are very, very popular right now. Essentially, this is the teenager's version or a young adult version of, like, a the mix between a fancy coffee drink and like 
a, a mixed drink, but it has no alcohol in it. So you, you combine different kind of flavored shots uh, with different colors mixed with like a Red Bull or something like that. That sounds awful. Uh, and with a lot of ice and everything. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's not my cup of tea because my cup of, cup of tea is a cup of coffee. Um, or but actually that's, a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah. But that's what you're seeing at a lot of the uh, a lot of the, the smaller coffee shops that are more even of the drive through variety. The, these are big, big sellers of those those places, these kind of energy mixers for you know you don't want coffee but you want a little bit of caffeine and you want it to be fun so that's kind of the the what you're seeing now sounds terrible to me <laughs> um <laughs> sounds awful it'd be i've only had an energy one energy drink once in my entire life and i was up for 48 hours straight because caffeine even at 12 o'clock in the afternoon uh affects me that night and uh, yeah, that sounds that sounds terrible <laughs> to me. Um, so you can walk around the town square. I believe on Saturdays, I couldn't find the exact place um, that they do this, but they have. I believe it's Saturdays. They do live bluegrass music in the square. Uh, there's a little like experience center uh, Centerville, or it's like the Centerville Chamber of Commerce. They do live music every single Saturday, and it's like some of the best That's bluegrass awesome. players that you can uh, you can go to. Absolutely. Uh, but what's really interesting about Centerville is this has become like the area of middle Tennessee where there's wineries. And that's one thing that separates Centerville from the other cities that we're talking about. Uh, yes, we're going to do a day trip to Nolensville and there's a, there's a, a winery in Nolensville, but there's two wineries in Centerville. And the first one we want to highlight is called grinder switch. And, uh, they have a great tasting room. And if you go to the tasting room in Centerville, guess what? The tasting is free. You can try six samples for free of their wine, That's which really is cool. awesome. Yep. They also do wine slushies, and I think they were the first ones to introduce wine slushies in the Nashville market. That's cool. Uh, so they have a location over in Marathon Village. So if you want to taste their wine right now, they have that available. The cool thing about this is they have a, the wine club. Uh, they have a great story. The property is beautiful. I love going out there for a day trip to Centerville just to go to this winery. They also have a great uh, cheese pairing with the wine. It just It's a great place overall. A very unique winery in Centerville is called Horseshoe Bend Farms. This is actually a blueberry picking farm that you can go to, but they have an Airbnb on the property, two Airbnbs on the property. So you can go stay at the Airbnb, go pick blueberries, which is a super unique experience. Yeah. And then they have uh, fruit wines. And what they're known for is a tomato wine, which I believe is one of the only tomato wines in the country that they make. Every time I bring up this tomato wine to people, they're like, I can make pasta with this tomato wine and it's going to taste like tomatoes without the red sauce. That's the reaction. So it is that's, fantastic. That's incredible. They, so they also grow, they grow blackberries. Mm -hmm. um, and this is, this is really cool. I, I like the category of wine that they kind of put themselves in small batch farm wines. Yep. That's exactly what it is. That's a, that's, that's, that's a very, very cool thing. They have uh, they, they do complimentary tastings as well. Wine by the glass or the bottle, mm -hmm. honey from their farm, Yep. local artisan charcuterie boards. They have a lookout pavilion, which is that awesome. has views over the duck river. You've been there before yep. to see how is the pavilion? The pavilion's great. Um, Joey, go ahead and show my computer. Uh, so you can see like you're going down this dirt road and you're like, where in the world am I going? Like, am I, <laughs> am I trespassing right now? Uh, but the reason it's called Horseshoe Bend is there's literally a bend of the Duck River. And then right here is their observation deck overlooking the Duck River. They've done a great job. Uh, this is a great place. And the coolest thing is the Airbnb. Like, we, let's just be honest about that. So with Grinder Switch and Horseshoe Bend Farms, you can literally be spending three or four hours or maybe even two hours at each of these locations. So drinking wine is going to be occupying most of your day in Centerville. I just want to point out that their tomato wine is called Mater Juice. Mater juice. Uh, run, reminds me of cars. Um, and then also they have a wine out called Mule Town. Interesting. It we're gonna is be, we're going to be talking American about American mus, Muscadine wine. Okay. Mus, I, I really have it's no a, idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, but it's a grape. A Muscadine or grape. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so you, you know grape. what you're talking about. I have no idea um, what you're talking about. But speaking of Mule Town, we're talking about Mule Town tomorrow. Uh, Columbia, Tennessee. I forgot how much there is to do in Columbia, Tennessee. <laughs> and you're like, oh, this is going to be like a five-day trip if you actually truly did everything in Columbia, Tennessee. Oh, yeah. But if you're looking for a barbecue place in Centerville, yeah, Tennessee. We, we, we promised you barbecue. We promised you. Every, <laughs> everywhere we go, there's going to be barbecue. Uh, Papa K. Joe's Barbecue. 
Uh, this place is right near the Duck River. And what I've heard, I've, I've tried their smoked chicken. It was delicious. But what I've heard of their other things, like this place is fantastic. Let me see if it would open up to their actual website. <laughs> no, it <laughs> takes you to Facebook. It takes you to Facebook. If you go to Facebook, they do have a website but attached does it to take it. you back to Facebook? Uh, it, well, it, it takes you to like a food menu website. Well, let's, uh, let's look up what their menu is. <laughs> okay. It's not showing much. They have great barbecue. You need, you need to check them out. Uh, and then to, to finish your day, I would recommend going in early October. And the reason for that is they have the largest banana bread pudding festival. Just banana pudding, not banana, banana bread. Pudding. Banana no. pudding. Banana pudding festival in the country. Uh, this takes place on October, typically the first or second weekend Th- in this October. This is October 7th and 8th of this, this year. year. Uh, so they have a pudding path. <laughs> this pudding path is that's, amazing. That's incredible. Let's just learn more about this pudding path. So you get 10 samples from all for for $10. You get 10 samples, fill up nine. Or Heck ten. yeah. Look at this. Just look at all of this banana uh, pudding. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So, That's fantastic. Uh, this is Centerville, Tennessee. It, it's <laughs> compared to the other towns around Middle Tennessee, like Franklin and Columbia and McMinnville. There's not much to do. It's the wineries that you really need to focus on. But it is. It is still. It's. It's still amazing. And again, all these links are going to be available on NashvilleDailyPodcast.com. Um, and and share this with somebody who may want to visit the banana bread or the banana. I, I do it all the time. Me the too. banana pudding f- uh, festival with you or go to these wineries with you, but it is still incredible how these small towns still have the ability to put on a heck of an experience for somebody visiting in the area. So Centerville is about an hour away from Nashville. Head over to NashvilleDailyPodcast.com to see the show notes of this day tripping series. Uh, this is a two-week-long two series where we're covering towns all throughout Middle Tennessee, towns in East Tennessee, and we're even going up to Kentucky for one of them. Uh, that's Bowling Green, Kentucky. There's a lot to do there in that town as well. Uh, so you can see the show notes from today's episode. Also, watch us on YouTube at Nashville Daily Podcast. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for listening to the Nashville Daily Podcast. If you want to learn more, head to NashvilleDailyPodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media at Explore.Nash on Instagram. Nashville Daily Podcast on YouTube and Explore.Nash on YouTube as well. The Nashville Daily Podcast is an Explore LLC production, copyright 2023.